Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make the um, ginger and cinnamon tea, which is to lower cholesterol. It does actually work, and so you just take it like every day as if it was a bit of medicine. So what we've got is, this is um, just ginger tea, two, two tea bags. I made it earlier so it's cooled down. And into that I've put two tablespoons of honey. This is my favourite honey. It's the Forest Organic Honey from Holland and Barrett. When you actually get it, it's a bit like this. You know, it's solid because it's, I don't know why it actually solidifies. It's something to do with the sugar, I think. But to make it liquid, like that again, all you have to do is just put it into some boiling water. Take the top off, unscrew it, leave the top on but unscrew it, and then pop it into the hot water, like that. Baño de Maria, it's called. I don't know what it's called in English. Um, and just let it simmer, you know, put the lid on, and put the heat on, and just let it, and that will make it all go runny again. So we've got two tea bags of ginger. The water has boiled, but it's not boiling when I put it on the tea. It's off the boil, it's just hot. And we put two tablespoons of um, honey into the, the tea, okay? And then you need to get yourself a bottle. This is where you've got to let the tea cool down a bit, yeah? It's still a little bit hot, but I don't think it will crack the bottle. And then with a funnel, Pop the funnel in the top of the bottle, like so. And then we're going to put two, three, sorry, three teaspoons of cinnamon powder. One, into the funnel. Two, three. Okay, so it goes into the bottle. And then we'll just give the... the um, a little stir, squeeze the bag, get the ginger going in there. Put the bags of sweets. Meant to do this last night, but I just got in from work and I was so tired, and then I drank a bottle of wine and lay on the sofa. <laughs> anyway, so there, that's that. We'll take the bags out now. That's been standing for a while because it needs to be cool, obviously, to go into the bottle. And then this goes into the funnel as well. Oh, do you know what? Pyrex have been making these jugs for how many years and they still can't get the liquid to go out the bloody spout without it going everywhere. You just thought they'd have learned how to do it by now, wouldn't you really? Look, everywhere it goes, bloody nightmare. Anyway, pouring that into the bottle. Glass bottles are always better than plastic, but hey-ho, listen, plastic, if you can get a black one, uh, a bottle one. Glass one is what I'm trying to say. You can't get glass one. Okay, just wipe that up. So that then the funnel comes out. That's that. And that's your medicine. <laughs> There's the medicine. Oh, so you put it in a bottle like that. And then I'm not going to close it now because it's a bit too warm still. But obviously, you put it in the fridge. And then it, every day you just give it a shake and have a little swig. Let me see. Mm. Mm. And that will lower your cholesterol. I had high cholesterol. Um, I think it, I can't remember how high it was now, but I think it was about 7.9. It wasn't quite eight, but it was in the high sevens. And the doctor wanted me to take statins to bring the cholesterol down. And when you take statins, you can't have grapefruit. Don't ask me why. It has an adverse reaction with, with, when you take grapefruit. So um, I really like grapefruit. So I said, I'm not taking it because I need. To, I like my grapefruit too much. So that's why I started taking this. And I couldn't change my diet because my diet isn't hasn't got much fat in it anyway. So it wouldn't have made much difference um, to change. I couldn't really do anything with my diet. So I started to take this every day. That'll last me up, that should last about a week, just over a week maybe, a week, 10 days. And you put it in the fridge, have a swig of it when you go to the fridge, give it a shake, have a swig. And in a year, I got my cholesterol down from, I think it was about 7.9 if I remember rightly, it's been a few years ago now. 
um, to 4.3 without taking statins. So that's not bad. So that's the first recipe of the um, the stuff, the garlic and the ginger and the honey and the turmeric. Okay. Um, we'll do another one tomorrow, maybe. Who knows? Thanks for watching.